Hello everyone. In this video I'll be doing a short demonstration on a wine bridge oscillator circuit. You can find a wine bridge oscillator circuit in a textbook. You'll see that it has capacitive and resistive elements which is what I have over here and uh, that's just one path of feedback and the other path of feedback it has resistive elements and in place of that I'm using a potentiometer so that I can have uh, more precise control over my gain. Next, what I've done, I chose to do, is uh, cascade that over to another stage that will just act as an isolator, a buffer, amplifier for that stage. And that's what this potentiometer here is for. Uh, it gives it uh, more gain. It just uh, scales up the signal that I get from my Winebridge oscillator. And for this uh, op amp, I'm using a model LM324 op amp. That's the op amp that I chose to use. So I'll go ahead and I'll apply power to it and we'll see what type of a waveform it produces. So as we can see, the waveform is the very general, very common uh, sine wave that we would expect to see from this type of a circuit. Uh, and so if we were to take a look at uh, V top, which is the, uh, the peak of the waveform, it's at approximately 13.8 volts for a, for a peak and if we look at V base, V base says that it's at about uh, negative 14 volts and uh, so basically that looks very good because it's very symmetrical uh, for the most part and if we look down at the bottom we can see that the operating frequency is approximately 698.3 hertz pretty close to 700 hertz so that will do it for this very short demonstration on a wine bridge oscillator circuit thank you for watching and have a nice day